sale a little while back and this is the Heal and Hydrate Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner from that brand there. I can't say it, is it Maui? Imagine if it's so not Maui. I literally picked this up because I just said it was on special and also the bottles were super cute and I love anything pink in my bathroom. But oh my God, I've been looking for new shampoo and conditioner for the longest time. Recently, I've noticed that my scalp has been getting really itchy and um, my oils are just coming out way faster than what they used to with the shampoo and conditioners that I've been using. And since I've been using this, um, that hasn't been an issue and my hair just feels so soft like my hair right now was washed like two days ago and it just feels so buttery and fluffy and the ends feel so hydrated and just really really nice if you're looking for like inexpensive shampoo and conditioners that are going to make your hair feel like you put something bougie in it this is where it's at hun this is where to go. Also, when it comes to hair care, when I wash my hair, I do the full shebang, okay? I'll do like my shampoo and conditioner, I'll do a hair mask and let it really hydrate. Then I'll hop out of the shower, blow dry my hair, straighten my hair, and then I'm good for the week. Or curl it, depending on how I'm gonna style it. Anyway, I bought this from Garnier. This is a leave-in treatment that you obviously put into your hands rub it together and then kind of go through your hair when it's wet and then you go to blow dry or whatever heat styling you're going to be doing to your hair. I've used that much already and considering how long I've had it and the fact that I don't wash my hair and style my hair that often, that's a sign that it's good. Oh my god, it honestly just puts like this really nice like oil film over my hair when I'm like heat styling it and it just makes my hair feel so soft and it also makes my hair look shiny and not like frizzy. I'm really enjoying that at the moment. That's like my little cheapy fucking go to the supermarket, get some good hair care stuff. We all know that I'm a fake tanner. Um, it was funny because my recent makeup declutter that I uploaded, someone wrote on my video, um, none of those foundations are light enough for you. I fake tan, so like my skin tone changes and fluctuates so much. The point is, I'm a fake tanner and I'm always trying new ones. Loving tan used to be my favorite, but unfortunately my skin now reacts to that. I absolutely love Vanity Australia's fake tan, but my current favorite is actually the Bondi San Aero. This is the self-tanning foam one hour express quick dry formula. Um, hello? Why is this so good? Why is this so good? Let me the fuck know. I actually never used to really be a Bondi Sans tan fan. Look at that rhyme hunt because their tan base is quite olive to green. And I personally think that with my natural pale skin look better using a kind of like bronze, olivey kind of ready undertone instead of the green. Bondi Sans tan used to make me look really green. Um, but this one doesn't and this is what I've been using for ages now. This is like two days old This coat that I'm wearing right now I like this because it's not too dark and you can see on camera I'm not trying to fucking be a different race I'm just trying to give myself a bit of a glow a bit of color Especially in the winter months. I just prefer myself like that um, And feel more confident like that. So yeah, this color is really fucking nice as you can see. The only issue I have with this tan is the fact that a lot of my foundations are like really warm undertoned. So this is green based. So it can clash a little bit. Um, also this dries super quick and it's express as I said. So you can literally wash it off after an hour and that's what you look like fully developed. I'm the type of person that sleeps in their tan because if I'm tan and hun, I wanna get the full fucking experience. I wanna get from zero to 100 and really fucking nice and tan, okay? This is my go-to at the moment. Absolute beauty. If you just want a face mask that's affordable and gonna do the job if you're trying to like decongest your skin, get rid of breakouts, minimize texture, just really clear out and detox your skin. This is the Alaya Skin Pink Perfect Australian Pink clay mask for detoxifying and brightening. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen this mask, but it's pretty fucking popular online, especially in the Instagram beauty realm. And also in Australia in general, this is one of the like best selling masks from Priceline. It's literally pink. You can see in there. And yeah, I love this. I feel like this really, really gets my skin looking the best it can, especially lately. I've had quite a few like 
textured bumps just come up on my skin. I've turned 25 and my skin's just fucking changed. There's fine lines that have never been there before. There's texture that's coming out of nowhere. And this is really good with helping me maintain my skin, looking as youthful and as clear as possible because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not fucking letting myself age too quickly, okay? I'm only 25, I'm not 75 yet. I really like this. A lot of like mud masks, clay masks, irritate the fuck out of my skin and um, also the fumes from them. Like really, I'm, I'm really sensitive to the fumes and it just irritates me when I wear them. Where this one doesn't and it's pink. And if you don't know, I'm a bit of a pink whore. I love pink. Okay, we've got two makeup products I want to talk about. First things first is this setting spray right here. This is the 4th Ray Beauty Glisten Up Mist. 4th Ray Beauty is a sister brand to ColourPop. And if you don't know what ColourPop is, where you been, hun? It's like the most amazing affordable brand. You can't get it here in Australia, but you can buy it online, obviously. And you get it within two weeks. I've been buying makeup for years, right? And every time I would buy something that was an American brand or from America, our exchange rates for our money. Oh, so if something's like $20 in American money, it's literally like, Mm, we're pushing like almost $50 here. So when you're buying online for makeup from the US, it can be a little bit annoying with the exchange rate. But anyway, also shipping and GST and all that bullshit. But with ColourPop, I don't see that much of a difference. Because ColourPop is already dirt cheap in the States, it makes it dirt cheap here. Like it's, it's cheaper to buy from ColourPop and get it shipped here in Australia than going to our drugstores, like Priceline. Anyway. 4-3 Beauty is a sister brand to ColourPop. 4-3 Beauty is more of their skincare brand. I bought this months ago. I hope it's still available because ColourPop tends to fucking do this. And 4-3 Beauty, they release something and then discontinue it. Um, as you can see, it's like a shimmery mist. If you like glowy skin, dewy skin, healthy skin, or you are someone who's into more minimal makeup and you just like that fresh, youthful look, um, but you need something to set it all down, also blend all your products together, and also make yourself look dewy and glowy and everything delicious like that, this is what you need. And it's dirt cheap. It's super similar to the Fasali Rose Gold Elixir, except that has like, rose gold flakes in it and it's like nearly a hundred dollars where this is under 20. I'm pretty sure it's like 12. Could be 10. It's dirt cheap. That's all I know. Okay. So now I've gone from Fourth Ray Beauty to Natasha Denona, which is the most bougie fucking expensive brand you can think of. Give this bad boy a fucking moment. I have been wanting the Natasha Denona Bieber palette for so fucking long, but I could not justify over $200 on a fucking palette. But I did it now because I had the money and I was like, fuck it, treat myself, hun. So to any person, this might look like a really basic palette and it is, but the formula is neck level and my makeup style has changed a lot over the past like six months. I used to be so into makeup and don't get me wrong, I still love makeup. I'm always going to be Makeup Mary, no matter where my life takes me, that's what I'm known for. And I'm always gonna have like a special connection to makeup, but I just don't have that drive to purchase and try a lot of makeup anymore. I just feel like the makeup community swallowed me and is actually quite unhealthy. So I've really pulled back on that shit and I've just like minimized my collection to what I use. I also also don't get too creative with my makeup anymore. I used to, you know, spend hours in the mirror just beating my face. Mm, there's my hair. But now I don't do that. I do like the same makeup like over and over again. So something like this is just everything to me because it's like all the neutrals I need. And as I said, the formula is insane. No shadows, no shadows blend like these do. The best purchase I've ever made, and I know $200 is a really big <laughs> chunk of money, but if you can't afford it, that's okay. Maybe put it on your wish list and like ask your family members to chuck in some money for your birthday or something and buy it for yourself. Or, you know, just save your pennies, honey. Put your dollars away every week and work towards it if you want it because it's fucking worth it and you know me. 
I'm an honest bitch when it comes to my makeup. If something shit, I tell you. This is gorgeous. And it's actually inspired me to declutter my makeup and just minimize my makeup even more with my collection because I don't need 110 eyeshadow palettes if I'm just wearing the same neutrals. You know what I mean? Anyway, hun, that is it for my current like essential beauty favorites, like what I've been using a heap of lately. Um, as I said, I'm going to do like a makeup video very soon. I'm gonna do like my go-to makeup look that I wear in like every fucking video and literally go step by step and teach you guys how to do my face. So you can do it on your own face. Then I'm gonna do a video where I talk about every category. So primer, foundation, concealer, powder, setting sprays and give you one option for each and what is my favorite and what I live by. Anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. It honestly means the world to me. I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.